Hey everybody, I got a potentially controversial video today, but I don't really care. Uh, let's talk about activated carbon, that black stuff that's in a lot of the filters. Um, some of you might add it into your canister filters in these bags. Some people might add it in the bulk. Or you might have like a hang on back filter that has cartridges that you replace every two weeks, every month that has the carbon inside of it. So let's talk about what carbon actually does. And some of you might not believe me, but I'll post links in the description to real scientific evidence on what carbon does and does not do. Are you ready for it? Look at this diagram. Carbon removes tannins or tannic acid, that the stuff that makes your water brown. It also removes phenols, that organic compound there, which basically can be oversimplified as stink. Phenolic compounds make things smell either good or bad, and in the aquarium world, they can kind of make things stink, so people want to remove them. So basically, the only thing that carbon really does is it removes stink and it improves the clarity of your water by taking out some of the tannins and improving your water color. It might be able to take out some of the medications you put in your aquarium. Uh, that's not proven scientifically which ones it does or doesn't, but I'm sure it does some. Because carbon has this really cool pores and it traps some uh, chemicals. Now here's the real ball buster, is carbon does not do ammonia, ammonium, nitrite, nitrate, basically the harmful chemicals that are going to erode or kill your fish. Now you want your ammonia, ammoniums to be at zero ppm. You want your nitrites at zero ppm. And depending on who you talk to, you want your nitrates below 20 ppm. So basically carbon does not remove any of the harmful chemicals that are going to hurt your fish. And I know that's kind of a crazy thing to say, but it's true and, and the science is, is clear on it. So I know some people that if they're gonna be going away on holidays or something and their, their tank is going to be neglected, they'll say, oh, I'm just gonna add extra carbon in. But the carbon is not going to take out the stuff that's going to harm your fish. I think that in my opinion all the carbon really takes out is things that humans perceive as harmful but it's not. Like they don't want stinky water. Humans don't want brown water. They want nice clear water so that's why they add carbon. But I dare say in relation to the fish the carbon doesn't really do anything to make their lives better. Holy cow, hey? Controversy. What I will say is this, because I always recommend something. Just do water changes. Do big, awesome, frequent water changes, and your fish are going to love you. As long as the temperature and the chemistry of the water you're putting in your tank is the same as the water you're taking out, your fish are going to love life. If your nitrates are under 5 ppm and you're doing weekly 80% water changes, which kind of is what I do on this tank, your fish are going to be so happy. And you don't need to worry about adding carbon. You're going to save money by just paying for the water from your city, municipality, whatever. It's way cheaper than buying carbon. So... I, uh, yeah, I ask you to consider why you're putting carbon in and say, hey, maybe I can just do more frequent water changes and have a way healthier tank. So I hope that was mind-blowing and controversy-stirring. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them in the, in the comment box. And I'll, I'd love to participate in some healthy discourse on why we should or should not put carbon in our fish tanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.